Hello, this is Andy from HowEFIWorks.com. Okay, what I've done is set up a little test. I've got a, a wire going all the way back to the battery on the positive. At the motor, I have a, a ground at the block. What we're going to do is watch the voltage drop as a motor cranks. I have both a fluke that's measuring 12.52 volts right now. And you can see on the scope at the top, as I crank, you can see the pattern. And right at the end, what you're seeing is the pattern as the motor cranks through the compression of each cylinder. Let me do it again real quick. And one more time. Now I'm going to do essentially the same test as I did on the battery voltage, but now I'm doing it on the ground wire from the ground at the battery to the block. I've zoomed in quite a bit on my scale, but as I crank, notice the voltage in the upper left corner is zero volts. That means there's zero voltage drop right now at the amperage I'm running to the ground wire, which is virtually nothing. But as I crank, You can see the voltage at the fluke go to about 0.4 volts voltage drop. You can also see the cranking at the starter. As the ground wire is pulling big amperage, you can see the voltage drop on the ground wire. Let's do it one, a couple more times. That is the voltage drop that you're concerned about if you have bad grounding going to the motor. I'm now going to do the same ground loss test, but I'm jumpered to the point on the chassis where the motor is grounded. This happens to be the same ground the ECU is using. This is the same scale is the previous test, and notice there's quite a bit less loss to the chassis ground. Probably should move the ground of the battery up to the same location. Let's do it a couple more times. Thank you for watching. I would like to thank my friends at TunerStudio.com. These guys are the developers of Megalogger HD, the software I personally use to look at almost any data log off of any engine data. It's the software I use to develop all these screenshots. Thank you for watching. And please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel.